Second half of play underway here at the Marriott Center. BYU leading Oral Roberts by two. The Golden Eagles can go in front on this possession to begin half number two. We're just in to the second half. Top of the key, Kevin O'Banner and right wing. Barnes, DeAndre Barnes, Max Acemus. Acemus, three-point range. Right side, right corner, right block. Jump hook missed by Nezekweze. Rebound by Yoli Childs. 32-30, BYU by two, 40 seconds into the second half. BYU had a 12-point lead down 2-2 at the break. Toulson up high to Yo. Child's left wing stripe extended to TJ Haas. TJ drops it down low to Yo. Sees a single team on the left block. Bangs into Nezequese. Jump hook off the window and the rim and in. BYU by four. 34 to 30. 19-15 to play here in Provo. We'll see a heavy dose of Yoli. He was five for seven in the first half. The rest of the team eight for 26. Acemus, three-point land left. High to Burns. Burns hooks a bounce pass. To the right block to O'Banner. O'Banner has stripped away by Nixon. Gets it back. Squeezes it up and missed it. Good contest by Dalton. And he gets the rebound. Front court left side T.J. Haas. Transition triple Barcelo. Big shot. Oh, he missed it. And the rebound to ORU. Mm. Alex been hot. Struggling tonight. 0 for 3 from 3 for A.B. BYU as a team. 5 for 21. At 18 against Weber. Barnes to ask Acemus. Acemus will drive it, float it, and score it. Max Acemus with 9. It's actually a bad shot. He got a great bounce. 34-32 behind oh. the back by A.B. Oh, Reverse oh, lay-in, oh. and he misses the lay-in. <laughs> Everything was, oh, and then it was, ah. Oh. Transition triple for the lead, and Ace Miss missing it. Offensive rebound, O'Banner. O'Banner goes back up with it, and he missed it at the rim. Offensive rebound, stick back and score by Nezequese. We're tied up. Danger time for BYU here. 34-34, Nezequese with 8. Not to be overly dramatic, but uh, BYU's... Non-conference resume depends much on what happens here in the next 20 minutes. As Nixon drives and is fouled, he'll get two free throws. He always managed to avoid the bad loss to this point. Yes, they have those losses to Utah and Boise State, but those teams are around the Ken Palm Top 100, both overtime, both on the road. A home loss here tonight in the non-conference finale. Just take a lot of steam out of what BYU has been putting together relative to a resume. Tie game, 34-34. Nixon makes the free throw. BYU back in front, 35-34. The offensive rebounds have not gotten away from BYU, but a couple early in this half, and second chance points now 9-2. to th- th- two. Second is missed, so two trips to the line, one for two each time. BYU's shooting in the 60s, high 60s, from the free throw line this year. Burns up top to a banner for the lead from three. Missed it wide right. BYU 35, Oral Roberts 34. Barcelo on the rebound. A.B. to the bump, the trailer Yoli Childs. Left wing TJ. TJ will penetrate. Stop at the free throw line. Jumper good. So reliable. A little mid-range jumper. TJ makes it 37-34. Haas just 2 for 7 from the field. And in front court, there's some perspiration on the floor. They're mopping up with uh, 17-26 to go. And BYU lead 3. 37-34. But we're in a nail-biter right now. Grinder. Yeah, low scoring. BYU shooting bad. So you say, well, ORU must be a really good defensive team. They're really shutting BYU down. No, I mean, BYU's getting a lot of look. That last look from TJ from 15 feet, no one was within 10 feet of him. So it's not about getting open looks, about knocking them down at this point for BYU. They're spending a lot of time. Must have been a water cup spill or something. Only explanation. Yeah, they're doing quite a bit of mopping in front of the Oral Roberts team area. So the BYU players will huddle for a moment. ORU coming off a of back-to-back 11 and 21 seasons. Have their first winning non-conference campaign under head coach Paul Mills in his third year in Tulsa. Golden Eagles basketball, we're back in. Or Roberts right to left as we see it and you hear it here in half number two. Kearns right wing, Burns to Acemus, top of the key. Post feed mid-alley left to O'Banner. O'Banner backing down low on Nixon. Nixon ties him up. A step through and a layup missed by O'Banner. The rebound out of bounds off of BYU stays ORU basketball. It's technically, that's, that's another offensive opportunity for them. And O'Banner just traveling, whistling Dixie as he did so, but no call. 17.09 to play. Another look for the Golden Eagles. Baseline to the right of the bucket. Ball sent in right wing. And now topside, Kearns. Kern starts a bounce, goes to his left, still on the dribble, straight away to O'Banner. Cycled to Acemus, 30 feet away right side. 
Backs it up near the timeline. Down to a five-second shot clock. Acemus knocks over TJ, and TJ draws another charge. Acemus has his second foul of the game, and turnover number nine for Oral Roberts. Great anticipation. He knew it was getting late in the clock. He jumped the move. So BYU basketball three-point lead. Toolson from the arc right. Step back. Terminate low to Yo. Yo, single team to the go, right yo. post. A bounce to the middle. Jump hook with the left hand fading away is good for Yoli Childs. He's 7 for 9, 14 points, and BYU by 5 now, 39-34. I don't know why they've gone away from the double because BYU is not hurting them with the 3 when the double came. Obanner on the bump. It's cycled to Kern's left wing. Straight away to Burns. Burns low on the right block and right up to the rim, up and in. Another, another travel, no calls from the big man as they're just bullying their way down low. For Kevin O'Banner. O'Banner scores from the field, three-point game, 39-36. to 36. Straight away, Nixon. Put to the left corner for Toulson for three, and that's a huge shot for Jake Toulson. Jake Toulson knocks down the triple. He's two of four from deep. Another Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer, and the Cougar lead is six, 42-36. Can they push the lead a little bit. Turnaround jumper in the post by Burns. No. The offensive rebound stick back and no by Lufile. Got his own rebound and scores and one. Two offensive rebounds on the possession. A chance for a three-point play as Lufile converts. The problem with that is Yoli had to help, which left Lufile wide open and, and TJ trying to block him out and that's not going to work. Timeout. Oral Roberts makes it a four-point game. They can make it three after this. 42-38. to 38. BYU leading ORU on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Tonight's BYU Basketball game is sponsored by America First, Utah's number one credit union. Join us and you'll be part of a winning financial team. Go to AmericaFirst.com for details and go Cougars. Well, BYU is holding its own on the offensive glass in the first half. Not so in half number two. It's all, it's all ORU on offensive rebounds. They've been blanked BYU on the offensive glass, and as a result, get a second-chance opportunity, actually a second- and third-chance opportunity on the last possession. And the second stick-back attempt by Lufile goes. He hits three-point play opportunities. We come back in. BYU by four. 42 to 38. Second-chance points are plus eight in favor of the Golden Eagles. Lufile, a 62% free throw shooter, shooting and missing. Rebound BYU. Oh, and lost the rebound. Well, we lost the rebound. Come behind him and knocked it away. So the rebound stolen and another extended possession here for ORU. Off a free throw miss. Driving it is Kearns. Banks and scores. Four point possession for ORU. Kearns has eight. Two point game. 42 to 40. The lob low to Childs on the right block. No sink. No double team. Takes to the middle. And short on the shot this time. Rebounded by Nezikwesi. ORU can tie or take a lead with 15-10 to play. Amber tied up. Right to the rim, up and in for Elijah Lufile. He's got six. Six-nothing run for Oral Roberts. Everything happening inside. TJ Haas, three-point land left. Lodio fouled by Saunders. First on Saunders, third on Oral Roberts here in the second half. 42-42. to The BYU lead got to six. The Cougars could not push it. And it's... ORU doing what it does best, crashing the glass and getting points and second chance looks and free throws as a result. Yeah, almost every miss has been a couple chances. Got a hold on the inbound on ORU. Well, the, only, the only positive here in the second half is BYU might get to the bonus where they did not in the first half. That's five team fouls against Oral Roberts to one for BYU. Low squeezing it low and off the rim. Half the window, rimming in. Again, Child scores down deep. 16 for Yo, 8 for 11 from the field, 44 to 42. It's the only thing working right now for BYU. Nezequazi runs it to the rim, and that's up and in off the window. Nezequazi's got 10. We're tied up again, 44 44. A lot Toulson like right wing. Utah and the ability to just go hard, get to the rim, and score at ease. Golden Eagles going downhill. Yep. And much like the Utah game, a double digit lead was lost in that one. TJ will run it down the lane. He'll get held as he goes to the rim. Needed the shot to go, but it did not. He'll have to earn it from the free throw line where he struggled this year. He's under 60% from the free throw line for a guy that's been career in the 80s. Go figure. 14-20 to go. BYU basketball brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen. 
helping Utah families for over 25 years. TJ shoots two here. TJ, a couple possessions ago, took a real tough elbow right in the chin. He's down for a little while, makes that first free throw. Dalton Nixon has a seat on one point, six rebounds, and no assists. He's the, one of only two players with points, rebounds, and assists in every game this year. TJ goes two for two. Hopefully the start of a free throw streak for Haas. 46-44, BYU by two, 14-20 to go. Well, Roberts right there with the Cougs. Be a huge win for them going into Summit League play and a really damaging loss for BYU. The Cougars can't find a way to grind this one out. They are not settling for threes anymore. Everything's at the rim. Nezekwesi fade away from the left block. No rebound. Slapped out. Brought down by Celius. Gives the tools and BYU by two. 46-44. Yoli from the right block to the left corner. Harding had to corral that pass on the end line. Did. Gives the tools and three-point land left. Yoli runs it to the right arc. Hawes. Hawes to the right corner. Has Nezekwesi on the switch. A whip left wing. Big three. Toulson got it! Jake Toulson makes it a five-point game. That's our Zions Bank shot of the game. For a financial slam dunk, Zions Bank is for you. BYU by five. Can they get a stop and a make here? Extend the lead a little bit. Get some space. 13-20 to play. Big, big make by Toulson. Turnover on the front end by Lou Fille. Couldn't handle it on the end line. BYU basketball leading by five. Just needing a little spark, and man, you hit a couple threes. This game can open up very quickly. BYU now 7 for 23 from deep. That tools and triple another. Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer for BYU. You hear Coach Pope yelling, go, go, go. Getting his guys up floor. 49-44. BYU in front. 13-13 to play. Tools and right wing. Big, big make by Jake moments ago. Up top to Celius. Left wing, Harding. Low, they go to Jake. And no look to the only child. And the right hand. It's a seven-point lead. A great find and a super slam. And Runner miss. missed by Burns. Rebound, Jake Toulson. <laughs> oh, Toulson, man. front court. Super slam is right. He got a little lift off the back of an ORU player, and he was it like he was above the back top of the backboard. Nine to two. BYU spurt 18 for Childs right now. Cougars by seven. I need a, I need a minute. I need to get my composure. That was as good as it gets. Post feed Toulson. And leans back into Burns. Toulson. Goes to the middle. Jake to the rim. Up and no, but he's fouled. Free throws forthcoming. Yeah, that's the thing. The pass was as good as the dunk. He'll flip over the head. Burns picks up his second. The Golden Eagles have their sixth now, so BYU will be in the bonus here. We still have 12.30 to play, and the Cougars now lead by seven. And Jake shoots two with the Cougar lead at 51-44. to 44. Well, Jake, uh, as he makes the makes first free throw, he airballed badly in an open three. His first one since then, three for four. And, man, that pass was as good as any three you'll ever see. To watch old highlights of Larry Bird. That was Larry Bird S. Just a flip of the wrist over his shoulder. Cougs by eight as Jake makes the first. And now the cushion is restored. And nine points the lead. 53 44. This game was tied at 44. 9 0 BYU run. 12 24 to go. Will this be the spurt the Cougars need? to put the Golden Eagles away. The three missed in the right corner by Acemas. The rebound to BYU. Celius down Toulson. floor. Oh, a great no-look skip to Jake. Jake will drive it, lob it up, and turn it over on the attempted pass to Childs on the alley-oop. Wanted another one. He probably should have shot that three. Had a good look. Base left. ORU the other way. Oh, Banner cut off in the block. Out to Kearns for three. No good. Rebound Yoli Childs. No harm done on that exchange. BYU front court left side. We have 11.53 to play. We'll have the under 12-minute media timeout forthcoming. BYU by 9, 53-44. Marcelo drops it downstairs. Childs. Childs squares on Nezequese. Knocked out of bounds by ORU. Timeout on the floor. BYU by 9 on a 9 nothing spurt. 53-44. The Cougs looking to put the Golden Eagles to bed here. 11.43 to play. Still plenty of time left. But the Cougars on a good run now as we take a timeout on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. Earlier today, the BYU women's basketball team began conference play. They are now 1-0. They defeat LMU at LMU 59 244. Back over to the Marriott Center alongside Mark Durant. Here's the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. 
Thanks again, Shep. BYU fans, did you know you can have your groceries waiting to be picked up or better yet, dropped off at your front door? It's all done online at smithsfoodanddrug.com or on their app on your phone. Download the Smiths app and save time shop online. BYU's second half shooting, 70% from the field, 67 from the arc, 83% from the stripe. BYU on a 9-0 run, leading at 53-44. We are back in here at the Marriott Center. Selyus top of the key, Marcelo. Marcelo. Post-feed, Childs. Reverse pivot on Nezikweze. To the middle, takes a bump, squeezes it up, and missed it, but he'll get two free throws. And BYU will shoot the rest of the way. This is a two-shot foul. He only has 18. These will be his first free throws, though. And so many games where it's been flipped the other way, but BYU's already in the bonus at seven team fouls by ORU. The Cougars just one team foul. The Cougar lead nine. Yoli can make it ten with a free throw make, and there he does. So Childs on a 19-point night. This for 20. BYU by 10 again, 54-44. to 44. It is a 10-0 BYU run, and this to make it 11 straight for the Cougs. Yoli with the line for a second of two. And that's no good. Lee stays 10, one for two on the trip. BYU 7 for 10 from the free throw line tonight. Lazenby, front court, three-pointer, good. Just like that, Ty Lazenby with his first field goal. It is a three, coming off a free throw miss, and it's a seven-point game, 54-47. to Left wing, Harding. Short corner, mid-post left to Toulson. Toulson posting up Lazenby, getting to the middle on him. It's a scramble, a fight for the ball, and Lazenby is going to be called for it. That's one and one. It's a big foul by Lazenby, his second, and that's already eight team fouls for now ORU to one for BYU, and Jake now with a big front end here. One and one in a seven-point game, 54-47. to 47. Jake on the year, an 83% free throw shooter, and you can bump that up as he's two for two tonight front end here for Toulson. Even though Lazenby made that three, it's a good sign that they're starting to gun the threes again as the free throw's good from Jake. You could tell coming out of halftime they just wanted to pound it inside was successful, and now they're, they're getting a little more desperate and throwing up the threes. Last three games, Jake hadn't taken or hadn't made a free throw. He was 0 for 2 over three games. Tonight he's 4 for 4, and those two are both good. BYU by 9, 56-47. Toulson will check out. TJ in. 11.09 to go in a game. BYU leads by 9. DeAndre Burns, front court left side for the Golden Eagles. A one-hand bounce pass across the arc to Aismas, right corner at Lazenby. 12-3, BYU spurt right now has the Cougars in front by 9. O'Banner nowhere to go, squeezing it up with the left hand and scoring it anyway from 8 feet. Just muscles it up, does O'Banner. He's got 6, it's down to a 7-point game again. 56-49. to 49. Yoli on the bump. Stripe extended left to TJ Haas. Look for a ticky-tack to go against BYU sometime soon here. They have only one team foul to Oral Roberts, 8. TJ on the bounce, left corner. Takes to the wing left. The feed to Childs. And a bump in the back, one and one again. And BYU will now shoot to the rest of the way with still 10.28 to play. The forearm goes in the back of Childs, and it'll be against Burns. And they'll be one and one for Yo. And from here on out, it's two free throws until the end on every foul for Oral Roberts. Not trending in the Golden Eagles' favor. Seven-point game, 56-49. Yo to the stripe. Childs on 19 points with one and one here. And this will be his should he make the well at, at any point tonight. He's got 36 games with uh, 20 plus. He's one point away from 20 tonight. So one and one here for Childs in a seven point game. Nope, missed it. Rattles out. Cougars are nine for 13 at the free throw line. Left corner, Lazenby. Left post, Nezikweze to the other side of the rim. Lays it up no good with a foul. He'll get two free throws. Lucky to... And Yoli picks it up. So Yoli missing a front end at one end and then picking up a foul at the other. And this to make it a five-point game. Really quick spin move from the big fella. Yoli uh, probably did a good job getting that foul. It wasn't much of a foul to make him earn it at the free throw line. And he does make the first. CYU fans, whether you want to sit courtside or score a bird's eye view, StubHub is the best place to grab your Cougar ticket. StubHub, the official ticketing partner of the BYU Cougars. StubHub, be there. Two for two, five-point game. 56-51. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hanging around, hard yep. to pull away. As a Quaze Lufile just hammering the boards, get pounding it inside. But BYU has to keep going downhill. 
They get, they'll get two free throws on every foul the rest of the way. It was still 10-02 to play. Harding right side to Yo up top. Barcelo, quiet night. Hawes back to AB, top of the key. Barcelo to the right junction, terminates. Shoots from there. No, short. Tried to follow his own rebound and does get it. Puts it back up short again. Rebound Oral Roberts. Marcelo, one for eight from the field tonight. Five, five point game. Oral Roberts indeed hanging around. And the ball out of bounds off of BYU. 9.40 to go. Cougars on that run. Went in front by 10, 54 to 44. Since then, 7 to 2 is the Oral Roberts answer. So a double digit lead in the first half went almost all the way away. Double digit lead here in the second half. And it could be down to three or two here. Nezekwesi, mid-post left. They pass out of the double. Right corner to Lazenby. Hit a three a moment ago. Drives it. Pulls it out to the right corner. Hand off to Obano. Turnover. Right out of the hands of Yoli Childs. Yoli running it down the barrel. Goes right wing to TJ Haas. TJ's TJ due. into a three. Got it! <laughs> yeah, he's due. So right as uh, Mark Durant sets him up, <laughs> TJ knocks it down for three. 59-51, three-pointer missed by O'Banner. Rebound tools and leaking his Knicks and takes the long pass to the rim. Blocked off the window. Marcelo collects. He goes back. He's blocked oh, as well. Geez. And here come the Golden Eagles the other way. BYU 59, ORU 51. Burns at the right junction. To the right corner, Lazenby. Lazenby splits defenders. Hands off to Nezekwese up and in. Off the lay-in. The alley-oop lay-in. 59-53. Six-point lead for BYU. Timeout on the floor. We're taking it. 8.49 to go. The Golden Eagles hanging around here on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. Let's get you back to the Mo Betta's courtside seats and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. We're coming to you live from the Mo Betta's courtside seats. Indeed, Mo Betta's Hawaiian-style food where that max salad is life-changing. Always a great accompaniment with your brown or white rice and teriyaki steak and chicken and so many good options at Mo Betta's. And here's an option for you. Text the word OCEAN to 88588 for a free mini Kahlua pig plate at Mo Betta's Hawaiian-style food. Again, text the word OCEAN to 88588 for some free Mo Betta's food. BYU with 8.49 to go, leading Oral Roberts 59-53 to here at the Marriott Center. BYU basketball, we are back in. It's a game last year about this time, and BYU shut them down the last few minutes. Toulson. Do it. Cycles Harding to Hawes and back to Jake. Stripe extended right side. Toulson. As O'Banner gets right in his face, goes topside to Nixon. Nixon give to Yo. Yo. TJ back to Yo right at the front of the rim. Runs to it, takes the pass, and drops it over the 10 for two. BYU by eight. The assist from Haas to Childs, and Yoli now with 21. Another 20 point game for Childs. BYU by eight, 61 to 53. Max Acemus right side to the top side to Burns. Burns pulls it out to the top of the key with a 15 second shot clock and an 8 10 game clock. O'Banner, Burns. Burns on the bump. Back to O'Banner. Left corner, Acemus. Wow. His three is blocked by TJ Haas and saved in by Dalton Nixon, but to the Golden Eagles. They reset. And a top of the key three missed. Rebound Nixon. BYU front court right side. The under eight minute media timeout is coming up. BYU leads it by eight. Have led by as many as 12 in this game. BYU get to 11 and four on the year with a win. Jake Toulson posting up Lazenby. Ooh, and he hit him in the chops. Lazenby sold it and timeout on the floor. Foul to Toulson turnover. 7.38 to play. BYU 61. Oral Roberts 53 on the new skin BYU Sports Network. Back to Mark Durant and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. For more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU basketball is brought to you in part by Sierra West. Diamonds direct, lowest prices, and three stores located across from the malls in Orem, Sandy, and Murray. Sierra West Jewelers. We price match. BYU out shooting Oral Roberts tonight, 45 to 40%. BYU on the year, 8 and 1 with the better field goal percentage. Here in the second half, BYU shooting fewer threes, making a higher percentage of them. BYU 3 of 4 from deep here after halftime, after struggling to 5 for 20 in the first half in the three-point line. Or Roberts, meantime, 1 for 8 from deep here in the second half. BYU shooting better, but still well below their season averages in both of those. They are getting to the free throw line a little bit more than Oral Roberts, which has helped them. But still a, still a very gettable game for Oral Roberts' big possession. Team foul situation. Nine for the Golden Eagles, three for BYU. BYU shoots two on every foul the rest of the way. Pressure we have 7.38 to play. Token pressure. BYU retreats. 
Burns front court right side, Acemas. Acemas left wing, Kearns. Everything outside the arc right now for ORU. Kearns holding the ball at his chest, begins a dribble toward the timeline. Back to the near sideline. Oral Roberts right to left as we see it and you hear it. A bounce pass low to Nezekwese. Nezekwese pump fake up and in. Nezekwese. You only got two. He certainly didn't want to pick up a foul there. Backed off. 61-55. The BYU lead is down to six on the make by Nezekwese. He's got 12. TJ, big three. Top of the key. In and out. BYU eight for 25. 32% 32% from deep. Oh, Banner. Ooh, almost dragged a foot. No travel called. Bounce pass low to Nezekwese. Takes trials to the other side of the rim. Reverse lay in four in a row for Nezekwese. It's a four point game. 61 to 57. Again, the Golden Eagles just keep on answering and hanging around. And BYU can't get a lead large enough to put them away. Not to this point, at least. TJ. Lob pass to Childs. Pushed in the back. Two free throws for Yo. Missed his last two, one for three on the night. BYU does shoot two the rest of the way. That's team foul 10. So a four-point game. Every shot attempted, whether from the field or from the stripe, is magnified. And with 6.32 to play, Yo shoots two big ones. BYU had a 12-point lead diminished to two at the break. Had a 10-point lead here in the second half. Get down to four right now. And now it's five as Yo makes the first of two. Yo's got to be better uh, on the defensive end as a Quasi having his way with him and maybe double with Dalton. Two for two at an important time, 63-57. Yoli has just the two fouls, 23 points for Childs. He's 10 for 13. His teammates are 12 for 37. TJ dove in on Acemas for the steal. Could only knock it out of bounds. It'll stay Golden Eagles basketball. 6.24 to play. They do switch Dalton onto Nezequese. BYU trying to put the Golden Eagles away. 63-57, the six-point lead for BYU as we get late. And Nezekwese is picking up steam down low. Calling for it as they stay outside and shoot a three deep. It's off the window. Rimmed out. No good. Oh, Banner missing the three that caromed off the glass and the flange and out. BYU by six. Toulson. Nixon back to Jake on the arc right side. Toulson step back triple left wing. No, it's missed wide right. And off the glass. BYU not even trying to get an offensive rebound. Everyone retreats off the shot. Kearns, left corner. Burns. Burns, Kearns, and now Acemas on the right wing. Acemas to near the timeline. 5.45 to play. 10-second shot clock for the Golden Eagles. BYU by six. Acemas runs into Haas. The pass off to O'Banner for three, and that's good from the right side. Kevin O'Banner with nine. It's a three-point game, 63-60. to 60. Just cannot put this team away. Not to this point at 5.20 to go. T.J. Haas good to Jake up. Toulson on the post up. Has the smaller Kearns. Turn around, jump hook, good. To the baseline. Jake makes it a five-point game, 65-60. to 60. BYU desperate for stops though right now. 5.05 to go. The post feed goes to Nezekwese. Hammers his way to the front of the rim and gets fouled on his way to the hoop. He'll shoot two again. Just cannot deal with him right now. They switch Dalton to Nezquese, and then Yoli comes in and reaches in and gets the foul anyway. So Nezquese will shoot two in a five-point game. 65-60. to 60. Oral Roberts scoring every time down the floor here. Nezquese shooting his first free throws. Missing badly there. He's a 71% shooter, but that was... No good for the minute it left his fingertips. So he's missed one. Hmm. Gets a second here. He misses two in a row. Yoli's out. It should not be a long sit for him. Wings are on the line, and no, he makes them. So makes the second of two does Nezequese. 15 points on the night, four-point game, 65-61. Celius Harding, straight away Hawes. 4.50 to go. TJ to the right side, Toulson. Toulson runs it out front. Jake terminates. Big. Left wing three by TJ is no good. Rebounded by O'Banner. Flirting with trouble, I tell yep. you what. BYU's three-point shooting tonight may undo and doom the Cougs. It's been that rough a night. Four and a half to go. 
and a four-point lead is all for BYU. Double-digit lead first half, double-digit lead second half. Kearns, all kinds of contest. Missed a lay-in rebound to BYU. Two on one. Toulson back to Harding. Harding runs it to the rim, up and in. Huge lay-in for Connor. And with 4.11 to go, timeout called, so we'll take it too. 67-61, BYU leads it by six. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. A couple of WCC teams find themselves down in the second half. It is Pepperdine trailing San Jose State 70-57. to and Pacific and UC Irvine going at it right now. Anteaters leading 33-18 nearing halftime. Back over to the Marriott Center and Greg Rubel. Shep, thank you. BYU basketball presented by Fillmore Spencer, Utah Valley's largest top-rated local law firm, which can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. BYU with a six-point lead. And 4-11 to play. The Cougars on top of Oral Roberts. BYU, one of the best assist rate teams in the country. Has assisted on 75% of its made buckets here tonight. A great number for the Cougs. Voting as a Quaze if I'm ORU. Only number not great for BYU tonight. Three-point shooting, 29.6%. Zach is all over Nezaquese. Ten-second shot clock for ORU. Acemus out front. Down to a five-second shot clock for Lazenby on the arc left side. Lazenby to the free throw line. A desperate runner. No, and out of Over bounds off of BYU. Oh. Over the back. If it's not a foul, he hit it from behind. Cougars knocked it out of He's, bounds. Jake says he hit my hand. He got the miss late. I think it was propelled out of bounds by ORU, but it stays Golden Eagles basketball. So an extended possession off a miss. Oh, Banner off the inbounds. Three-pointer. Oh. Good. Wow, what a bounce. Hit the rim twice, pops up, drops in the middle. That's after BYU defended an entire possession, got a miss, couldn't find the rebound, knocked out of bounds and off that extended possession. It's a three-pointer and a three-point game. Can you believe that? Under two minutes, you to get that, but they can't review the call. Toulson will run it down the lane. Hand off low to Childs. Childs bounces once, goes up and short on the jump hook. Missed it. And Earl Roberts can tie the game right here. 3.05 to go. Extended possessions for ORU, keeping him in the game. Almost a travel beneath the basket. Childs then blocks O'Banner, and here comes BYU the other way. Harding's going to pull it out in a three-point game. 67-64. The score, BYU by three. Left corner, Harding. will drive it, pull it out to Jake. All day for three. Nope. Loose ball foul, Harding. Off the rebound. Fifth foul against BYU and ORU down three. Just so many little plays have gone Oral Roberts' way and so many of them resulting off of missed shots. Wide open. I mean, Jake Toulson, one of the best three-point shooters in the country. That's the the shot you want. Just long. And again, if BYU doesn't win tonight, it'll be a heartbreaker if they don't. Three-point shooting will have been the reason at this point. 2.35 2.35 to go. Burns will drive it. Missed the lay-in. A one-hand rebound by Nezaquese. Up and no! It's in and out! The Cougars will take that break. And that's a break. Nezaquese is just... Oh, I just... Oh Transition man. triple. Harding. No, that's back rim. And the rebound out of bounds off of BYU. Oral Roberts basketball. Right. You gotta think that one of these is gonna go and they just... None of them do. 8 for 29. BYU from 3 now. And five straight misses from deep. 2.22 to go. This is a nervous holiday crowd. Well, BYU's seen games like this get away. Trying to get it back. Three for the tie. Yep. Can you believe it? Again, Lazenby, deep three right side, and we're square at 67. BYU led this thing 54 to 44. And we're tied up. Y- Yoli a touch. Double comes. Great find this to Toulson. Good. Three. Got it. Right side. Jake Toulson makes it a three-point game. 70-67. to 67, Under two minutes to go. They went back to him. And he knocks it down. BYU must get a stop. Lazenby is fouled on the right wing. 
Team foul number six. It'll be out of bounds. Jake on the foul. Got two into Lazenby, who ripped on him and drew the foul. And now Lazenby and Toulson are jabbering at each other. BYU by three, 70 to 67. 142 to go. A couple of stops and a couple of makes. Aralit may take. Driving is Burns. Contested shot goes on a runner down the right side of the lane again. ORU answers 70 to 69. BYU by one. 90 seconds to go in this tension filled affair. TJ, three point land left. To Yo, mid post left. To Nixon in the alley. Back to Harding for three. He's fouled fouled on it. He missed the three, but he's fouled. He gets three free throws. Lazenby got him. And with 118 to go, BYU will shoot three, leading by one. Massive free throw attempts for Harding, shooting 74% from the free throw line, 14 for 19 on the year. Big, big call for Connor. Looked like they're going to have that same shot on the double from Yoli, and he tried to get it to Jake, and it went to, two, or to Nixon. This to make it a two possession game, three free throws, and no, he misses. And everything is just not going your way. It's. You just got to find a way here at the end of this game. Keep it, Second for Harding. Keep it three points. If you get two, that's good. 71 69. BYU by two. This to make it three. 118 to play. Dangerous game, this. Oh, oh an offensive rebound. He missed the third free throw, and Dalton Nixon grabs the rebound. And BYU will shoot two the rest of the way. A full shot clock, or a shot clock of 20, down to 10 for BYU. Jake's going to try and take Lazenby. One minute to go. BYU by two, 71-69. Toulson drives, steps back, 18-footer. Go! Oh! Take the make! With one second on the shot clock, BYU by four, 73-69. Burns in front court. To the trailer, Nesequese, right wing to Acemus. No threes. 45 seconds to play. The BYU lead four, 73-69. ORU in front court. Burns on the wing left. He'll drive the left block. Step through. Send high. Acemus in from 20. Shoots. Misses back rim. Rebound, Toulson. TJ breakaway. TJ breaks away. And dunk. hammers it home. It's a two-hand dunk. And the Cougars by six. 30 seconds to go. The shot clock is off. A shot block at the other end, out of bounds. They're off. They're going to look at this BYU, but they're going to look at it. They'll go to the they'll go to the video monitor. <laughs> Twenty three point five. A shot block at the other end, and to the monitor to see who touched it last. And fifteen thousand people collectively exhale as BYU's going to sneak out of this one. T.J. Haas with dunks in back to back games. By the way, that now. wasn't as impressive, but <laughs> we'll take it. Career dunk number four for T.J. Haas, but at the time it came, nothing more emphatic. As Dalton Nixon was battling with Acemus for the loose ball rebound, out of bounds called off of Nixon, but they're taking a look to see who touched last. And the last momentum yeah, might have been Dalt from the floor. I can't really tell there. This will be a better angle as we look at the monitor. Look like it looked like it's off. It's off uh, ORU. The, oh. the direction the hands for Acemus is going that way. Dalton's going the other way. I've got the pinky of Nixon <laughs> on that one. So well, I, if you could, I can't agree. <laughs> then who knows what's going to happen? If there was just a goal line cam, we could figure this out. Where's the goal line cam? 23.5 seconds to go. And BYU trying to get to the goal line here against Oral Roberts with a W. 75-69 with 23 and a half remaining. The game was tied. At 67, Jake Toulson makes a huge three. Then ORU came back with a two to make it a one-point game. One of three free throws for Connor Harding. And then a rebound off of the last missed free throw. Toulson scored. Then TJ Haas on the breakaway dunk, and they'll say it last touch by Earl Roberts. BYU basketball. So the Cougars should get this one done now. 23 and a half to go, and they'll shoot two on the next foul. So BYU by six and should have enough to get this one finished here at the Marriott Center. And it was tense for the longest time. Jake Toulson will inbound, 94 feet away. And again, Haas leaks, takes it beneath the basket, and scores the lay-in, and that should do it. 
77-69. TJ got free once again. Haas with 14. Air ball three missed on the front end by Oral Roberts. Another three by Acemus off the rebound. Ends up going to the hands of Nezekweze off a partial block from the right wing, and he lays it up and in to make it a six-point game, 77-71, with 10.6 to play. It's a great release to Haas. Almost too much on the pass. That would have been terrible. If, or you would have gotten the ball underneath their own hoop. But TJ collect, collected it, took his time, made the easy layup. So 30-second timeout called. We'll stay right here with it. 10.6 to go. BYU 77 and Earl Roberts 71. The uh, Golden Eagles tough luck in these single-digit games. They're 1-3 and three this year in games decided by 10 points or fewer. And BYU should have enough here to hang on and win it. What clutch play late from the great Jake Toulson. Hits a three and uh, hits that little fadeaway jumper at the end of the shot clock. On a night where his teammates went 5 for 22 from deep, Jake went 4 for 8. And 22 points on the night to go with Yoli Childs, 23. T.J. Haas adding 14. So those were the big three this evening. And enough to get this one done for BYU. 77-71. 77-71. BYU in front. 10.6 to go. And the Cougars will inbound again. Full court. Jake Toulson beneath the basket. BYU with a win would go to 11-4. Heading into league play. Toulson runs the end line. Back the other way. Into Nixon. He's fouled immediately. Will shoot two. To help finish this one out with 10.2 to go. Quiet night for Dalton. Just one point. Can add to it here. But So the shot of the night becomes the Toulson three-pointer to put BYU up three late. But then the play of the night is probably the offensive rebound by Dalton Nixon off the missed free throw by Connor Harding. Yeah, I mean, that was, he missed, you know, got one of the three and he's in a, a lot of hurt. But one guy to rebound, as Dalton makes the free throw, and he was the guy that got it. So Dalton at the strike. Eight, eight, eight rebounds tonight, leading BYU. So only a couple points, but really was effective on the boards. All of his scoring done from the free throw line. He goes two for two there. BYU is a team 13 for 19. And the Cougar lead eight with 8.5 seconds to play. 79 to 71. R. Roberts on a baseline drive. Pull up jumper by Barnes. No good. Offensive rebound. Stick back and score as we go to 0.2. Nezekweze scores it. The ball gets inbounded. The game is over. BYU wins it by a score of 79 to 73. Post game recap next here on the new skin. BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Final score here at the Marriott Center tonight, BYU 79 and Oral Roberts 73. BYU saw a 12-point lead in the first half go down to two at halftime. BYU saw a 10-point second half lead go to zero. This game was tied at 67 with under two minutes to play in the game. BYU ends up outscoring Oral Roberts by a margin of 12 to 6 to end the game. And goes to 11-4 and four in the non-conference campaign. So the non-conference schedule, our slate, is finished. And BYU gets there with just a four setbacks, uh, three of which came uh, without uh, Yoli Childs. And so uh, with Yoli in the lineup, BYU went 5-1 uh, and one and gets into WCC play in a good way. I mean, you're going to have off nights, and this was definitely one of them. This was a bit of a step backwards for BYU. You look at areas where... They struggled, and you don't. You, like I said before the game, that they, I thought they'd really improved rebounding, offensive rebounding. I mean, not everyone has a guy like Nezekweze had 17 rebounds. I mean, he's just a boy, a man amongst boys out there. He's such a specimen, and he dominated BYU in the paint. But this probably would have been another game like what we have seen if BYU just shoots a decent number from the three point line. They and, and they had a lot of looks, and it just wasn't there tonight. So. If you're not doing what you do the best very good, then you're going to be in a tight game. And BYU, I just like that they found a way, unlike some other games, to finish it finish it off and not let this one be a really black mark on their schedule. Yeah, BYU's mark uh, tonight from three was 30%, 46% from the field, and 70% from the stripe. Oral Roberts shoots 41% field, 30% arc, and 71% stripe. So BYU outshoots ORU from the field and the arc. BYU's outshot by a small margin from the free throw line. BYU led by Yoli Childs, 23, and Jake Toulson's 22, 14 for TJ Haas. Down to sixes for Celius and Harding. Threes for Dalton Nixon and Colby Lee, and two for Alex Barcelo. Quiet night for AB on one of eight shooting. 79 points for BYU, 37 rebounds. 
Oral Roberts gets 23 and 17. Double double, 23 points, 17 boards for Emmanuel Nezekwesi. 12 points for O'Banner. 9 for Acemus. 8 for Kearns. 6 is for Lazenby and Lufile. 4 for Burns. 3 for Lotsis. 2 for Saunders, getting you to 73 for ORU. Rebounds in the in the Golden Eagles' favor, 46 to 37, including 16 to 8 on the offensive glass. Kind of what we knew ORU was capable of, and they did that tonight, 16 to 8. But in second chance points, in, is is where they were hanging themselves or hanging around in this game, and they outscored BYU by a considerable margin at 18 to 5 there. So that plus 13 margin kept ORU around. And in a tie game late in this one. But BYU makes enough plays late to pull this one out. There were two lead changes, four ties. BYU led for almost 37 of tonight's 40 minutes. BYU's game-high lead was 12. And Oral Roberts' one lead came at 3-2 to two in the early moments of this game. BYU wins it by a score of 79-73. to 73. Time now for the New Skin Data Discovery of the Night. Brought to you by New Skin. Discover the best you. What has Mark Durant discovered in tonight's box score? Well, in a tight game like this, you have to take care of the basketball. Only seven turnovers. And and even though ORU only had 11 turnovers, 16 to 6 off points off turnovers. So that was, in a, in a game like this, that was the difference maker. And that number, 21 assists with seven turnovers, gives BYU a 3 to 1 assist to turnover ratio. And BYU assisted on 75% of their makes tonight, 21 assists on 28 makes. The only Childs, by the way, goes 10 of 14 a week after going 11 of 13. So 21 for 27 from the field. Is that good? Over his last two games. It's, that's that's passable. Good. That's passable. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Yoli Childs, big nights last week and tonight, helping BYU to a six-point win. We'll come back to Provo for courtside conversations with player and coach. But coming up next, it is Cougar Post Game Live with your host, Jason Shepard, back at BYU Radio. That is next. BYU wins at 79-73 here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.